Now you're looking uh, live in the Rasviet modules vestibule. Yuri Malenchenko on the left, Tim Copra in the center, Tim Peake of the European Space Agency on the right, as they gather uh, to say farewell uh, to Jeff Williams, Alex Korpochka, and uh, Alexei Ovchinin. Uh, final farewells and handshakes uh, all the way around uh, before they make their way uh, through that hatchway behind Peak into the Soyuz TMA 19M spacecraft. Copra first, uh, followed by Peak, as uh, we are about to lose our signal uh, through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Uh, some bonus uh, KU coverage uh, now as uh, Malenchenko offers a final uh, wave and a farewell. Uh, the uh, crew, once inside uh, the Soyuz, uh, will begin uh, the process of closing the hatch. Once the hatch is closed, uh, they will uh, transfer the Soyuz vehicle from uh, ISS-provided power to autonomous power uh, through the remainder of the Soyuz's time through undocking and its uh, return to Earth. And you see at the hatchway, Alex Skorpochka, uh, and Alexei Ovchinin in the foreground as uh, they prepare to uh, close the hatch. Uh, there will be leak checks conducted on both sides of the docking uh, interface uh, between uh, the uh, hatchway uh, for the Soyuz and uh, the International Space Station uh, before that vestibule is depressurized down to vacuum, setting the stage for the actual undocking of the Soyuz from Rosfiat that is scheduled three hours and 19 minutes from now. And the hatch uh, to the Soyuz TMA 19M closed at uh, 9.34 p.m. Central Time. It has been done already. Copy. Skorpochka will now close the hatch uh, to the Rosviet module, make sure it's secure. And at that point, uh, the crews on both sides of the hatch interface uh, will begin a series of leak checks over the uh, next uh, 90 minutes or so. The uh, Rosviet hatch closed at 9.35, so the hatches are now closed uh, between the two spacecraft. Uh, once uh, the uh, crew conducts uh, the uh, leak checks, and uh, has transferred the Soyuz to autonomous power. Uh, the uh, three departing crew members, Copra, Peak, and Malenchenko, will begin to suit up in their Russian uh, Sokol launch and entry suits and conduct uh, systems checks on those suits to make sure that they are leak free. Malenchenko, of course, is the Soyuz commander uh, with the call sign of Agat that you will hear uh, once uh, the Soyuz. Uh, Agat, this is Moscow. And you just heard that call sign of Agat uh, being called up from the Russian uh, flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov, outside of Moscow. That is Malenchenko's call sign for his Soyuz vehicle. Malenchenko will be in the center seat of the descent module, the center uh, module of the three uh, sectioned Soyuz spacecraft. Uh, the upper section, the orbital module, and the lower section, which is the instrumentation and propulsion module, will pyrotechnically separate uh, once the Soyuz uh, has begun its uh, descent uh, from orbit following the deorbit burn itself. Yes, that's correct. And we can see you. To uh, Malenchenko's left in the uh, descent module will be Tim Copra operating as board engineer number one, as he did for launch 186 days ago. And to Malenchenko's right will be uh, European Space Agency astronaut Tim Peake, serving as board engineer number two. 